Happy Monday. So it's eight o'clock. I have arrived into the lab. I'm not speaking in the office because Axel is in the office and I get a bit shy. So <laughs> I have taken up refuge in my little lab here that no one is using currently so I can have a little chat this morning. So I am just going to have a look at my planner to see what the plan for the day is. And then I'm going to sit and actually time block out when I'm going to do everything. So let's pull up my digital planner. Where is it? Okay, so today is mainly a data analysis kind of day. Uh, I will have some experiments to do and some preparations for experiments for tomorrow, but mainly I will be analyzing data. So I'll just show you. So if you can see over the glare of the lights above, at 10 o'clock I have a meeting. So I'm basically part of the postgraduate uh, committee. For, uh, I'm a representative for the third year postgraduates in the Department of Chemistry. So we have a meeting today to discuss any ongoing matters. I'm then going to analyze my LCMS data. Uh, oh, I should mention before the meeting at 10, I actually have training this morning again on how to use the LCMS um, so I can run it in the future and run everyone's samples. So after that meeting, I'm going to analyze my LCMS data. Um, because I had a problem, I can't remember if I mentioned it in the vlogs, but I had a few fractions which I had fractionated on the MPLC, and when I scanned them in the HPLC, the chromatograms looked the same, which means that, well, it basically means that it looked like there was the same compounds in each of the fractions so that my separation didn't actually work very well. So I'm checking that by comparing the masses in the LCMS data. So after that, I'm going to go to the plate reader and I'm going to get the results from the bioassay I did last week, which was with the tributyl tin oxide. I will analyze the data I get from the plate reader and I'm going to label everything I need for preparing lots of samples tomorrow. And I need to decide what samples I am actually going to prepare because I'm not sure at this moment in time. Then here's my schedule for the rest of the week. I still need to fill in these days because I tend to fill in my plans as I go along because things can change very quickly in science. So you don't always know what you're going to be able to get done in one day and then you can't necessarily plan for the next day. Um, so that's why these are relatively free, uh, but I do have tomorrow planned, so that's fine. Yeah, so now I'm just going to wait until the other guys come in for the LCMS training and then I'll be analysing my data. Hello, so this morning has been a bit crazy um, because I had the postgraduate um, meeting which lasted a long time and honestly my head is just kind of fried now to be honest. Um, it was a lot and now I'm trying to figure out what I actually need to do for the rest of the day. My data that I had to look at from the LCMS to see if I need to join my fractions together is rubbish. So I need to go back to the drawing board with that. I have no idea what went wrong, so I need to figure that out. But for now, I'm going to grab some lunch. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Getting in the way of someone's picture. I'm going to go grab some lunch and then go back to the lab when my head is a bit more clear, hopefully. Also, I appreciate this is an incredibly unflattering angle, but honestly, me even doing this in public is a big deal because I'm so shy. So... Yeah, you're gonna have to take my uh, double chin situation because, like I say, I do not feel confident doing this in public, but sometimes I just want to have a chat and get my feelings and thoughts out on paper. Not on paper, I mean on film. You know what I mean. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get my food. Chat soon. in the day now it is about half past four and this is actually the second time I'm recording this little dialogue because if my day wasn't going bad enough my camera decided to zoom right into my face while I was recording the last time and all you could see was my eyeball basically anyway I am going to probably streamline what I said 
when I recorded it the last time. Basically, I've had a crap day. So I have done two sets of analyzing data today. The first set was the LCMS data that I received today from submitting my samples last Friday and this was the data that I spoke about earlier. I was trying to compare the masses in the data to see if I needed to join some fractions together. However, my data looks awful. So I don't know if I am going wrong somewhere preparing my samples but basically I should see nice peaks which should correspond to different compounds and I am not seeing peaks. It's just baseline that I'm seeing which looks like this and I've got a few peaks which are absolutely tiny which is difficult to see if they are baseline or if they are actual peaks. So that's annoying because I spent time preparing those samples last week. The second thing that's gone wrong is somewhere along the way of my bioassay that you would have seen in last week's vlog that I carried out last week, something has gone wrong and I don't know what has gone wrong but the results in some places are a bit weird. So basically in the controls, which is just the bacteria on their own, they are growing less than in the presence of this very strong anti-fouling agent which is supposed to kill bacteria. How this makes sense, I do not know. If there was leftover methanol in the wells and it didn't dry well enough before they added the bacteria, that's a possibility. But again, it did not go how I wanted it to go. So usually I'm quite good at accepting the failures and moving on, however at the end of the month I've got one year to go until I finish my PhD and that includes writing up as well. When you take the Covid situation and the pandemic into consideration, I have lost about a year of my research time. The total time of my degree is supposed to be three and a half years and if I have lost one year, that means I'm trying to complete my PhD in basically two and a half years, which is insane. So the reason I'm getting so worked up about these results not being good is that every week counts for me now. I've got one year to go, which is basically 52 weeks, okay, 54 weeks because it's at the end of November next year that I'm supposed to finish. So as a week goes by that I do not get results and I do not move forwards, the stress just builds and builds and builds and builds up. <sighs> As you might be able to tell, I'm a little bit stressed right now. Today has just not been good for the motivation levels, it's not been good for my head. I try to be positive but I just, I am struggling right now. Hopefully I will go to my exercise class in 45 minutes and I will come out feeling more uplifted because exercise helps people, it really does help. And hopefully I'll come in tomorrow with a fresh mindset and feel more positive about the whole situation. But right now, I just feel like I'm going around in circles, I'm not moving forwards, and my time is running out. Anyway, I just wanted to share this kind of internal dialogue that's been going on in my head all day. It's not been a good day, and this is part of the reality of doing a PhD. There's good times and there's bad times, and today I am going through one of those stressful and mentally challenging days, let's say. So if you ever feel like this because your results aren't coming as you expected, your experiments aren't working out, I just want you to know that you're not alone. Uh, we all feel this at some point. And as hypocritical as I might sound right now, we just have to keep going, keep trying to be optimistic and keep being positive that we will get our results eventually. Anyway, I'm going to go and just do a research integrity course that is mandatory for us as postgraduate students, something that I've been needing to do for a long time so I'm going to finish that now before I leave because I do not have the mental capability to do any more lab work or any more data analysis. I am done. <laughs> I'm going to complete that course, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to exercise and then I'm going home to relax and like I say hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. Hello it's Tuesday and I've come in, I'm gonna try and have a positive mindset today as you would have seen I had a mini meltdown yesterday. So I'm just sitting at my desk enjoying a cup of tea, planning what samples I need to prepare for today and we're just gonna crack on and we're just gonna get the work done. These are all of my samples that I need to try and find the ones that I need for the bioassay. Uh, actually this is just half of the samples so wish me good luck, I'm gonna need it. So 
Say hello. hello. What, what are we doing? Drinking. I'm <laughs> a pop quiz. Pop quiz. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. It's creased, it's creased. Wow. How fun. How fun. So, the So before we have to very quickly disappear out of here, I just uh, want to thank you everyone. So we have a toasting machine for the MPC. And you have to just have a shaky kind of, of here. Well done. Hello, good morning, happy Wednesday. I cannot run my bioassay this week because I forgot to autoclave tips. <sighs> This week is going really well, as you can see. In a way, it's good because it means that I have a less busy day today and I am very, very tired as I didn't sleep very well last night after the pub quiz. It wasn't even that late at night. I just had a terrible, terrible sleep. So I am thankful for a less busy day and I'm thankful that I can try and get some writing done. It's not the end of the world that I can't do the bioassay today because I'll have more samples to test next week so it actually maybe works out a bit better but it's annoying because my plan has changed and i made a mistake and i messed up and no one likes to mess up anyway gotta go and autoclave some tips so they're ready for next week autoclave some media as well hello hello apologies but i've been absolutely shocking at vlogging today i did some bits in the lab and i met up with a undergraduate student Gary, shout out to Gary, hello <laughs> if you're watching, um, to help him out with some advice for writing a literature review. And now I'm at home, it is four o'clock. I'm working on a presentation that I'm going to be doing at a mini seminar that I set up at the other office that I'm at. So my project is funded three ways. So it's funded by the National Decommissioning Centre, the Net Zero Technology Centre and the University of Aberdeen. Pre-COVID times, I used to go to the office at the National Decommissioning Centre and I haven't been there since everything locked down at the beginning of last year. So I organised a mini seminar for the PhD students and the postdoc students, um, postdoc students, the postdocs, to all get together and do a little flash presentation, three minute long, to introduce our research to each other, get to know each other, and then we're going to have lunch and catch up afterwards. So it should be nice. It'll be good to see the... PhD students that I used to see on a weekly basis and to meet all of the new students that have joined since everything went weird in the world. So tomorrow should be good. So I'll take you along tomorrow. I'll show you the building. Uh, but for now, I'm going to work on the presentation. So speak tomorrow. home now and I am going to start writing some of my research paper. I did not go to the lab today and that is perfectly fine. I actually feels quite nice to have not went into the lab and to have a bit of a break and to be participating in an event and to be doing some writing. The event this morning was really really nice and it was so nice to meet the new PhD students which I haven't met before and to also catch up with my fellow PhD students that I started my PhD journey with. Um, who I haven't seen since before all of this pandemic nonsense. So that was really good and it was also nice to hear what everyone's getting up to in their research projects and to have a nice catch up over lunch as well. So it was very inspiring, very motivating. Listening to my colleague Abby speak about getting her first publication just published really has inspired me to come home and write my paper. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I will tune in with you guys when I'm back in the lab tomorrow. Be pro. 
Friday. I'm going to the store to collect some more pipettes because I've ran out of glass pipettes. Let's go. Hello, I am in the NMR room. It's a bit noisy, so hopefully you can hear me, but I'm just running some NMR samples. Today has been pretty busy, so I haven't really checked in much. Um, I've been doing a mixture of all sorts of different things and helping out Axel and yeah, I don't actually know where the day's gone, to be honest. It's been a very fast one. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just having a look at the NMR data for one of my samples that I managed to run already. Because you might remember that I used the LCMS to try and compare a few fractions that I had to see if they contained the same compounds, and it didn't work. <laughs> so now I'm trying NMR, so I can compare the NMR spectra to see if the same compounds are in the different fractions. So hopefully this will work out and then I'll know how to join my fractions together for testing them next week on the bioassay. Here is a sneak peek of some of my peaks from one of my samples, but I'm not showing you anymore because I don't want anybody to steal my potential new compounds. <laughs> there is the NMR, the 400 megahertz. I love the 600 because it's so good if you only have a small amount of sample, but it's broken at the moment. Oh. Not to distract you or anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, great separation, Axel. Thank you. A plus. <laughs> this is Federica. Hello. You've seen her in the vlogs and I've not introduced her. She's one of my lab besties, let's say. Yes. Lab besties. And she's doing something with enzymes, which I don't understand. Because <laughs> you're more of a biochemist now than a... Yeah, I'm doing like molecular biology, Ooh. biochemistry, yeah. Our Although lab is I so am, diverse. <laughs> I am a chemist, but yeah, I don't... You used to do natural products chemistry at one point, yeah. and then you changed yeah. over to the dark side and left us. You know, the money, they drag it over. <laughs> the industry exactly. drives you. But yeah, that's what I use all the time, so you can show. Oh, that's it's like the one that I use, yeah, that's plate reader. Friend. Yes. We stroke it so it stays on your good side. <laughs> yes, you need to care for it. Yeah. So I'm going to repeat this again because I did try yeah. to record it and I'm stupid and don't know how to use my phone apparently. But Federica's trying to figure out if she has enough volume of her enzyme for next week so she's using yeah. a pipette to see if i have enough <laughs> yeah let me i'll come let's see i'll come around here Wee. i don't have enough for this one oh you actually no. don't so no. what does that mean it means that for this one i need to over express again oh no using your column thing that takes so yeah. long oh, so no. it's like two more weeks of work to continue chemistry yeah, fun. It's fun. <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> 